A very good morning to all of you. First of all, I would like to thank the conference organizer, Elsewhere Material Today, for giving me this opportunity. It's my great honor to share with you the wonderful world of aggregation-induced emission. Let's start with a movie scene. Many of us were impressed by the amazing movie of Avatar, which created a new nascent world of imagination. In nature, living organisms such as fireflies and calm jelly emit bright bioluminescence. Inspired by nature, human beings have created and utilized new nascent materials in information displays, biomedical research, social security, solid lighting, and so on, creating a real colorful world beyond imagination. However, if we take a closer look at those numinescent materials, you will be very surprised to find a big problem, which is aggregation cost pension. Many of these molecules are highly numinescent in solution. However, the numinescence is quenched at high concentration. This is opposite to the everyday experience that when you add more sugar to water, the water becomes more sweetened. As organic nutrients naturally aggregate in solid state and aqueous media, the aggregation cost quenching effect is practically harmful to many applications, including the ones I have just mentioned. FITC is a green fluorescent dye that has bright fluorescence in solution, and chitosan is a biopolymer that is non-emissive. If we use FITC to label the chitosan with the increased degree of labeling, the polymer fluorescence is quenched from bright yellow to completely dark. This is absolutely frustrating because we're expecting an opposite result. At this moment, let me bring you to our unique solution, the bright and colorful numinogens with aggregation-induced emission. The concept of aggregation-induced emission was first coined in 2001 by Professor Ben Dong Tan from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Subsequently, numinogens with aggregation-induced emission were termed as AI agents. These AI agents have specific rotor structures, and because of the rotation and motion of the rotors, these molecules are not emissive in solution state, but they emit bright luminescence in the solid state. Now, if we use the AI agent to label the stem polymer, you will find out that the polymer luminescence is enhanced with the increased degree of labeling, which gives you very bright polymers in the solid state. The luminescence properties of AI agents can easily change in response to external stimuli, such as mechanical forces, pH, temperature, electrical field, solvent polarity, and so on, so forth, which makes them very pleasant materials to work with because the colors are keep on changing. Of particular significance are the, are the tribal luminescent materials, which are non-emissive in the crystalline state. Suppose I put the materials in between two pieces of glass, and I press or slide the glass, you will see from this video that intense visible light is generated at the point of stress. This property is of interest to many researchers, particularly mechanical engineers who work on nano, micro machinery or the loading bearing structures and who are eager to find a simple solution to monitor the system press. Due to the time limit, today I will only focus on three very specific examples, which include light emissive liquid crystals. AIE dots and AIE light up probes to highlight the application of AI agents on energy, healthcare, and environmental applications. 
in our everyday life, very often, it is quite annoying that our computers, iPhone and iPad can easily run out of power, particularly in the middle of something that is very important. While a simple strategy is to get a better battery, but how about we do away with the backlight of the screen? The current computer screen based on liquid crystalline, this liquid crystal display technology, which requires power consuming energy backlight. The discovery of the light emitting liquid crystal AI molecules offers opportunity to directly fabricate light emitting devices, which shows the liquid crystal display function. Actually, Professor Tan from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology created a device which animates the backlight with simplified device configuration. And as a con consequence, these devices are able to provide improved brightness, higher efficiency, at reduced energy consumption as compared to the current liquid crystal display. And with this technology, we're able to make the same battery work much longer for you. In addition to the LCDs, AI agents with different colors, and particularly important is that the quantum yield up to 100% in the solid state have been designed and synthesized for the uh, liquid, uh, for the light emitting devices. And these materials and devices have attracted wide interest from researchers in material science and electrical engineering, among many others. To fully utilize the high brightness of the AI agents in the solid state, we further invented AI dots, which are very small nanoparticles that have helped us to bring the AI numinogens into the aqueous water, into the aqueous solution to offer a clear solution for the researchers in the life science field. Some of you might have heard about the um, cancer therapy using the stem cell technology. And this is a powerful technology which has been widely studied in research laboratory, but not really uh, widely used in the clinical settings. And one of the problems that remains to be solved is how to make sure that the transplanted cells are actually located at the position of interest. And to clearly answer this question requires cell trackers. However, the currently fluorescent cell trackers do not offer highly enough brightness or long enough duration, or it simply requires genetic modification of the cells. We're very excited about our AI DOS technology, which are highly emissive, lump blinking, and with extremely high photo stability. Just for your information, each of the AI DOS, if we compare with the inorganic quantum DOS, each of the DOS is able to emit 10 to 40 times more number of photons per unit hour. This, in combination with the high tunable size and color of the AI dots, together with the excellent biocompatibility, makes these materials really very good cell markers for understanding of the stem therapy and continuous monitoring of a lot of biological processes. The value of the AI dots is further presented in this diagram as compared to the genetic modification of the cells to express the fluorescent protein, the AI labeling is non-emissive and it is simple and easy, which offers long tracking time that is significantly longer than that use commercial quantum dots uh, organic dyes. In fact, in our recent study, we we're able to offer few months of tracking time, tracking time in the vivo studies. Another example is how we can use AI dots for 
multi-photon imaging as well as the high-resolution imaging. So in this case, we show clearly that the AI dots are able to offer very clear three-dimensional vascular imaging. This in combination with the possibility to modify the surface of the AI dots to specifically label the cells in vivo offers a useful tool for the neural scientists to study the brain function as well as to understand brain-related diseases. The last example is to show how the AI LiDAR probes can be used for environmental, environmental monitoring. These probes are not emitted by themselves, but once it interacts with the specific analyte, the emission is enhanced. As we know, water is essential to our life, but not many people are get access to clean and drinkable water, and many die of waterborne bacterial infections. It is highly desirable if we can come up with a solution that allows quick and simple water safety monitoring in any place at any time. In this case, we started with the AIA probe, which is non-emissive. Once the liquid droplet, which contains the bacteria, is added into the solution, the probes will immediately migrate to the surface of the bacteria to give very bright color that is clearly visible to the neck eye. The whole process will only take about less than a second. The same strategy is all probed effective to detect other analytes, such as carbon dioxide, hydrazine, which is a widely used uh, chemical in the industry, and other metal ions that exist in solution. Our capability in real-time monitoring of the analytes will help us to get aware of and better prepared to protect our environment for a better tomorrow. Let me end the talk with a short summary. AIE refers to a unique phenomenon that the light is aroused in the aggregated state. Numinogens with aggregation-induced emission is termed as AI agents, which emit more brightly in the practically useful aggregated state than the solution state. Since the concept was coined in 2001, it has changed the way people think and brought forth a revolution both conceptually and technically today. The AI research has penetrated into many research domains, such as materials, energy, environmental, and biomedical. The natural AI process has a widespread influence in the world, with far-reaching implications to the future. AIE, respect nature, influence future. Thank you.